Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Oh my gosh, look what came in the mail already. Today I got my Natasha Denona Mini Crush Eyeshadow Palette to review for you guys. So if you want to see my thoughts, comparisons, demos, all that good stuff, then just keep watching. If you watched my live last night, which if you were there, thank you. It's still available for you to view. I told you guys my feelings on this palette. I don't really like it. I wasn't excited about this. I would definitely say this was the least excited I've been about a Natasha Denona palette in a while. It's just too pink for me. Kind of over it. I have so many pink eyeshadow palettes, so it just wasn't a color story that I was excited for. But nonetheless, we're going to judge the quality. We're going to see how it compares to other palettes in Natasha Denona's line. Uh, but just so you can kind of get a feel for how I was feeling. <laughs> so this palette is $25. You can currently get it on the Natasha Denona website. Starting tomorrow, January 28th, you can pick it up at Sephora as well. Currently on the Natasha Denona website, it's considered on pre-sale. They ship from New York. I live in Maryland. I paid, this is a whole other story. I paid $20 for expedited shipping. It's just a cost of doing this for a job. And it came in the mail today. I literally ordered this at like 4 p.m. yesterday. I got it at like 11 a.m. this morning. So the shipping was phenomenal this time, but I also paid $20. So it better have come. And just FYI, I would suggest if you can pick this up from Sephora, because unless you're making a big order from Natasha Denona, I noticed Natasha shipping is super expensive for me. It's $15 for just normal shipping and $20 for expedited. There's a $50 purchase minimum in order to get free shipping. Obviously this is not $50 so I actually did add another mini palette to see if I could get that free shipping and uh they're such bum holes. I'm telling you two of these mini palettes are $50 and it was like you're one cent short of free shipping so unless you're spending more than $50 in one cent uh, I would just get it from S Sephora. Do not buy this if you are buying this alone which the fact that I live in Maryland and it's so expensive to ship. I don't get it. Anyways, shipping was fast though, but wait to get it at Sephora. So this is a limited edition mini eyeshadow palette set that is inspired by the Love palette. Last year for Valentine's Day, they actually did a mini love, but I guess we have another mini love inspired palette here. And if you didn't know, this is for Valentine's Day. That's why I'm not mad about the pink. It's not for me, not my color story, but it's totally to theme. So the set itself is going to look like this. It is a Valentine's exclusive what it says and you get the mini crush eyeshadow palette and you also get a brush. I love this. It's $25 same price as they would be without the brush. You get a little bonus brush. I like that it's in a cute little set. It makes it perfect for a gift for Valentine's Day. So this palette is made in Italy. I mean I know it's hard to see but if you need to see any ingredients and stuff. Dang this font is really small. 24 month shelf life. So here is what the brush looks like that comes in the set. It is a synthetic feather soft pro fiber brush. They they call it a medium blending eyeshadow brush. It has quite a short handle. How pretty of a color is this? These are the kind of brushes that I just lose. They get lost in my cups. But here it is in comparison to my eye shape. It definitely is very, very soft and it's a little pinched. So you can use it to brush on some eyeshadow or blend out. It's nice. I'm not going to complain. It was free. All right, let's take a look at the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to turn the lights down so you can see the true color here. Same packaging as all of the other mini palettes. You have this clear top and then you have the five shades. Something to know and I am going to do a comparison section later on. But four of these shades are already existing in the Natasha Denona line. So if you have a lot of Natasha Denona shadows, just keep that in mind. For reference, Daisy right here is in the Cranberry palette. Lotus right here is in the Safari palette. Koi is the only brand new shade to the Natasha Denona line and it doesn't look very original to me. Soul is from the Midi Love palette palette, which is literally what it's inspired from. And then Clarette is in the Metropolis palette. So just something to keep in mind if you do have those palettes, you pretty much have all of these shades. So unless you are in love with the curation of this and want to travel with it, if you have all those shades, you probably don't need this. So let's swatch. So we'll do a Daisy right here, which is a Chroma Crystal. Ooh, it feels great. Lotus, which is a creamy matte. And then Koi, which is also a creamy matte. I'm really excited, you guys, because I made a video called Natasha Denona palettes I'm getting rid of and the cranberry palette where the shade was in. I was sad I had to get rid of my cranberry palette and I was like, oh, I just wish I had this shade.
shade and oh my gosh, it literally is in this palette. So now I have it. So now I can gladly say goodbye to my cranberry palette. But here are the first three shades. They feel fine. This purpley shade maybe looks a little patchy. We'll see how that translates onto the eyelid. Okay, the next two shades, we'll do Soul and Claret. Soul is a creamy matte. Claret is a metallic shade. So here's Soul. Then here's Claret. Ooh, Claret swatches beautifully. So the only shade I'm really going to be watching out for is Koi right here, which is the only brand new shade to the line. So we'll see how that works. But these are the swatches. It's very pretty. You have some red-based pinks here. I mean, this is a red, and then you have a red-based pink, and then you have more mauve pinky shades here. Okay, let me come up with a look, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I did a very basic look, a look that you're probably going to create if you own this palette. I wanted to make sure I used each and every shade, and I used a technique that will probably be very popular with you guys just to make sure this palette is easy to use. So I'm starting off with the brush that came in the set and we're gonna go into Lotus right here. Just so you know in case you did buy the Metropolis baby set that came out over the holiday season that also had a brush. These are the exact same brushes by the way. So it's not a new brush but I am going to go into this shade. So this is the lightest shade in the palette. You'll see that there really isn't a highlight shade or anything like that. I love a palette to have a highlight shade. To me, that really completes the look. Whether it be matte or shimmer, I don't care. In the Mini Love palette, you'll see there's a highlight shade. I liked that. I feel like that's what I need to complete a full look. This palette doesn't have that. Obviously, it's not that big of a deal to go into another palette, but in terms of a complete palette, I wouldn't feel complete traveling with this palette and only this palette. So you can see though, I do feel like the shade on my skin tone has a little bit more depth than I thought. I was sure it would be lighter but it's not so it does work as a transitional shade on my skin tone if you're deeper than me this is going to be beautiful as a highlight shade so maybe this isn't my highlight shade but richer complexions you can work it that way or you can put it all over the lid just to brighten up the lid for an all matte look that would also be gorgeous so I do like this shade it's quite easy to work with as well very easy to blend out and for my skin tone really creates a nice base pink shade for the look. All right, next we're going to go into Soul. This is the one that's in the Midi Love palette. Make sure you tap off the excess. We are getting a little bit of kickback, but nothing out of the ordinary for any Natasha Denona shades. This is a creamy matte, so I am working on building up some depth. So I'm not doing anything fancy, just building this up in the outer corner. So this one has almost like a reddish tone to it, which I think is very fun. This particular shade, by the way, does not have a superior blend. On the other eye, I noticed the same as well. It's fine, it works fine, it's not hard to work with. But but it's not the easiest blend in the world. It takes like an extra 20 seconds to blend it out, if that makes sense. Not bad, but not great. So you can see we built up the depth. It layered over this shade very well. I'm just gonna take this shade now and blur the edges. Next, we are going into Koi. I'm gonna use the same brush, but I am going to go in with a smaller brush in a moment. Take a little bit. And I'm gonna focus this on the lower part of the outer corner of my eye. I wish this shade was just a little bit deeper. I think that she didn't do that because the Mini Love had that deeper shade. I feel like that could really transform this palette. It's just a little bit more purple and it does add a little bit of depth, but give me more. But anyways, starting it off in the outer corner, I'm going to take a Wayne Goss 20 brush. I'm gonna run this along the lower lash line the whole way. Let's make it a little bit more dramatic, why not? This look really does scream Valentine's Day. Okay, and then I'm going to work on blending. So I would say this shade works like, oh, my lips look crusty, I'm sorry. <laughs> this shade works like a typical purple shade in that it's like decent quality. It's not the easiest to blend out, but it's not hard to blend out. Just know because it is a deeper purple, it will take a little bit of extra precision and just being patient in blending. You'll get it to blend out just fine. But it's not, you can't just slap it on and go. It's not gonna blend itself out. You actually have to blend it out. So this shade is really handy. Just using it again to blend over everything. Wow, 
the shade is quite useful to get these shades to blend out. So just go over that. I think this eye I made darker than the other eye. That's fine, we like it. All right, I'm gonna take my sponge that I used to blend out my concealer and just clean up down here. All right, let's get to working on the shimmer shades here. There are two shimmer shades. So this one is a metallic. I'm gonna use a Sonia G Builder brush. This is Claret, which you can find in the Metropolis palette. And believe it or not, like a reddish shade like this and purple go so well together. Every time I do a look that combines these two color families, it always looks so like sexy. I don't know, I love it. And I'm also gonna get it on the tip of my brush. It is a metallic shade, so it's gonna apply probably a little cleaner with a finger, but you can do it just fine with a brush as well. Just tap off the excess so we don't get red metallic on our face. And I'm popping this in the inner half of the lower lash line. Then again, just layer build. This is super duper pretty. I think I did actually end up using a finger just so you can see the difference. Finger works better, but it's not impossible to use with a brush. Kind of blend that into the look. I'm using the same brush that had the purple on it. The last shade that we're going to use, of course, is going to be Daisy, which is the Chroma Crystal formulation. So excited about this shade. I suggest using a finger. And this is the palette right here. This is what makes the palette. If you're buying the palette, it's going to be for this shade most likely. There's so much dimension to it because it is that Chroma Crystal formulation, which is not new to her line, but she doesn't include a formulation like this all the time. Not very often, really. I put it, as you can see, on the inner half of the lid, and then I bled it over Claret just to create a very easy, pretty transitional blend. This eye looks better. How pretty is that? 99% of the time that I'll use this palette, this shade is going all over the lid because this is this is what you're paying for. It is stunning. This formula is very interesting. I don't notice it having much fallout and it's just so dimensional and pretty. So here's the look. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's a really great Valentine's Day look. I do think I could get this look with my other Natasha Denona palette. But let me finish the look and we'll get into the comparisons and all of that. All right guys So here is the look with lashes lips everything pulled together I will have everything that I'm wearing on my face down below if you're curious But let's get into the comparisons of this palette So immediately when I saw this palette I was like that looks like the midi love and the mini love that came out So I wanted to do a direct comparison of the two if you aren't familiar with this This is the mini love palette. This is what came out last year for Valentine's Day So I just wanted to just show you them side by side. So both of these are inspired by the same palette and here's how they look. I thought they looked similar but let me show you the swatches side by side. So right here is the mini love and this is the crush palette. The mini love is a little bit cooler, a little bit more mauve -y. This year it has more warmth and red to it but those are the differences. Honestly you guys, I much prefer the mini love. I think you have more variety in the shades. You have more depth. It's easier to create a whole look. You have the light shade, the deep shade, you have a very shimmery shade. Personally, if you were deciding between the two, I would push you in the direction of the mini love. I like the variations and the tones and the depths. This is a better value if you ask me and also these are all brand new shades. This year they're not brand new shades and comparing it to the love palette which is what both of those mini palettes were inspired by, here is the midi love palette which I used a lot more than I thought it was going to. I ended up really liking this palette and here you can see a comparison with the mini crush palette. So soul down here these two are the same shade and they swatch the same they feel the same i tried to pick colors from the midi love palette that were close to the crush palette and this is what i came up with so this is the crush palette and then here is the midi love palette and honestly you can see that there aren't exact dupes or anything besides soul right here but they are super duper close so if you have the midi love palette and you aren't looking for like a little mini version to travel with you're good. You do not need to pick up the mini crush. You're good with just the midi love. And of the three, the mini crush is my least favorite. <laughs> I mean, it's a good palette. It has good quality, but I like the colors of the mini love palette and obviously the variety of the midi love palette better. So this is as I expect it to be. Like, I wouldn't have purchased this, but it's fine. The quality is good. I just want to double check to see if all of the shades that are repeats feel and look the same that are in the full size palettes. So I'm wiping off my hands now to do that. We're gonna start off with Daisy here, which is the Chroma Crystal, and it is in the Cranberry palette. 
or this is the oldest cranberry palette. I believe it was reformulated, just so you know. This is Mini Crush, and this is the cranberry. If they look different, it's just because as you can see when you turn the hand, it looks different with the way the light's hitting it, but they look the same, honestly. In the cranberry palette, this feels a little softer to me. I've used this shade multiple times, and it looks really, really new. I feel like the Daisy shade in the Mini Crush is starting to get a little hard panned. So something about the Daisy shade feels a little slicker feels a little bit better quality but they do look the same they just feel a tad different okay next let's do lotus lotus is in the safari palette so if you aren't familiar this is the safari palette it really is <laughs> not like the mini crush palette at all but lotus is right here here's mini crush here's lotus from safari they look the same i would say safari's formula feels a little bit more powdery honestly but i can't really tell too much of a difference i've already done this but soul the souls feel the same in both of the palettes so the soul in the midi love palette is right here they both look and feel pretty much the same to me last guy is claret this can be found in the metropolis palette so they look the same and they feel pretty much the same as well so maybe there was like very 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 slight differences but i don't know if that has to do with age or i don't think it's enough to really say they're different they're the same as their counterparts. Final two cents. I like it. I don't love it. It's not a palette that I needed, but if you feel it does fill a hole in your collection or you just really love the color story, I can say that the quality is very, very good. It's not best of the best, I would say, just because these two shades, I did have to like put a little extra time. I did the blending. The blending didn't do itself, but other than that, I think you'd be happy with the quality. I don't think you would dislike that, but I will say Mini Love is still available at Sephora. I like this color story a lot better. I would push you more in the direction of this one, but Mini Crush is fine. It's just fine. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts on this palette down below. Are you going to pick it up? Are you leaving it behind? I'd love to hear it. I will say at the end of it all though, I mean, this is a look. I really, really love the look that it created and I am looking forward to continuing to play with this and see what other looks I can create. I don't think you're gonna get a ton of versatility in this palette, but it's only five shades. They're all in the pink family. It's for Valentine's Day. If you're gonna wear this, you know what look you're gonna get out of this. That being said, thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.